This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Welcome to the C. Jane Sell Podcast, a relatable sales podcast for your weekly dose of sanity. I'm your host, Chelsea Dupre. And I'm your host, Lee Nevis. Hey, party people. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we are coming to you for the last time in 2019. Man. The last time, unless you're, like, totally obsessed, which I'm sure you are, and probably, like, listening to all our old episodes because you're like, I just can't get enough. (laughs) I have to listen to them every day. (laughs) We know there's some of you out there. It happens. It does. Christy, thanks. (laughs) Mom, thank you. (laughs) Um, Yeah. But, yeah, here we are for the last time in 2019 before we take a little break. Well, you're going to think we're taking a break, but we're actually going to be working pretty freaking hard. Yes, we will be. Yeah. We have a lot going on. We do. But I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready for a little, you know. Breath of fresh air. Yeah. Turn it over a, what do you say? Turn a new leaf. Yeah. A leave or leaf? Leaf. Turn a new leaf. Like a leaf. Like a tree. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. Turn a new leaf. Yeah. We're going to be doing that. It's going to be awesome. It's no big deal. Yeah. It's so that's what's going on here. And, you know, all my salespeople out there, it is the beginning of the dreaded holiday season. It is. Where there's lots of, call me back after the first of the year. Mm-hmm. I've got so much going on. Call me back at the first of the year. We're doing budgets. Call me back after the first of the year. Mm-hmm. Anyways, long story short, it's just a lot of call me back later. Yes. And people have an out because it's the holidays, so they think that it's acceptable to just push you off to the end of the year, mm-hmm. slash the beginning of the year, and then you'll hear, call me in March. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep, literally. <laughs> but um, real talk, the holidays can be challenging, but only if you make them challenging. They can also be a lot of fun and a lot of room for growth mm-hmm. and possible leads to great deals. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, I think it's really easy to get into the same mindset as the people that you're calling. Mm -hmm. Because if you hear, you know, 10, 20 calls in a row that are all like, oh, well, you know, call me back at the first of the year. It kind of makes you like, dang, should I just like not do anything until the first of next year? Like it makes you, it gets you in that mental headspace. But it, you put your hand, you rub Yeah, I'm just really excited. Oh, you're really excited. What I'm saying is... The holiday season is a time that you absolutely can take advantage of because even though there's going to be a lot of people out of the office, you never know which person is going to be in the office. There will be less people. And which person won't be there. Correct. Like a gatekeeper. Mm Mm-hmm. Who might take the There's always a Karen there. Always. If you know what I mean, you know (laughs) what I mean. (laughs) <laughs> we we do. There's we always know. Always, always a Karen. Um, yeah. But, like, a really good example of this is I used to work with this one guy who was trying to call this company for forever. And this one receptionist was just being, like, insanely rude. Mm-hmm. Not, like, maybe not rude, but just absolutely, like, oh, well, you know, he's not in. Call back later. He's not in. Call back later. It's, like, he clearly wow. was in. He clearly just told her, like, please tell people that I'm not in if, you know, you get a phone call for me. So one day he called and it was like, maybe like the day after the Friday after Thanksgiving, like a day that like a normal person would have off. Mm -hmm. And this guy had come into the office to get some work done and he called and since he was the only one there, that's great. he ended up talking to him and like was really nice, like asked him like how his holiday was. Like that's another thing too, is like you can really, you immediately already have something to talk about because it's the holiday season yeah. and you can talk about stuff that people care about. And like, instead of just being like, how was your week? How, isn't the weather so nice? You can be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how was your Thanksgiving? What did you do for it? Like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Like my grandmother also makes like this insane derby pie. I totally understand. Like, well, you know, yeah. you immediately have a way to connect with them and a way to build a relationship over the phone. Yep. And you probably have more time because they're doing probably a lot less work 
you don't feel like you're like bothering them because it's the holidays. It's mm-hmm. almost always going to be slow. Mm-hmm. So you can lay a lot more groundwork when um, there is a lot less craziness going on at other people's work. Yes. And we all know that I am a big seeding type of person. Absolutely. So what a seed is, for those who don't know, it's like you take something to them and you plant a seed. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. here's a little thing. Remember me. Here's my opportunity to be different. All that. Big oh, yeah. fan. Big fan. I mm-hmm. love doing it. And the holidays is the perfect time because you have like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yep. Three in a row. Three months in a row that you get to go see these people mm-hmm. back, back, back. And you're not like being annoying because it's legit why you'd go. Yep. Halloween, have a pumpkin. Thanksgiving, have a turkey. Christmas. I don't know. You'll figure something out. I've already <laughs> given you a few ideas. Right. Like, hello. <laughs> hello. Can't give you everything. Uh, Sarah's slow. <laughs> no, but there was this one deer. We, every time. I'm going to slow down. <laughs> There's one year I found these little bird ornaments. And I said a little birdie told me that you might be looking at your uniform program or something stupid. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But that was, it's funny. If you can be silly and goofy and put a little of your personality in it, it gives you a good reason to stop. Oh, yeah. Stop in and say hello. For sure. I think those kind of things are fun because they're memorable. Yes. Instead of just being like, hey, here's some candy. Happy Halloween. Like, yeah. I, for, like, the U of L UK basketball game this year, oh, yeah, when I, I was that. with the ad agency, I had, like, red and half red, half blue basketball cookies made. Mm-hmm. And so I, in my little card, I wrote down, like, whether you're red or blue, I want to meet with you. Like, be expecting my call Tuesday or something. I don't remember Freaking what day, day I said. But, like, that's kind of what I did because... And every single person I talked to was like, oh, my gosh, I love that card so much. Like, so thank you. Cute. Like, they're really nice, even if they were like, sorry, we're really already, like, for real on board with, like, this other agency. But, like, yeah. every single person was nice. And for the future, even though they don't work there anymore, they'll probably remember that that happened. Yeah, And so, cute. you know what I mean? Like, that, like, built a relationship for that company with them. Well, and the other thing that you're doing when you say, I'm going to follow up with you, and you actually do it, mm-hmm. you're building a rapport, and you're not really doing it uh, you're following through so you're building automatic trust if you say you're going to do something you're going to do it yep absolutely and so it's like a psychological Mm -hmm. thing correct yeah yeah i think sometimes we get really in our head with especially with seating when you say like hey like here's this cute thing expect my call this Mm -hmm. day at this time Mm -hmm. because even though like in your head you're like oh my gosh there's no way they're going to be available like why did i even set this time like why am I doing this? They're going to be ignoring my phone call. It's the fact that you are doing the thing that you said you were going to do. And if they actually do want to talk to you, more than likely you left your contact info and they'll be like, Hey, you know, Tuesday at four doesn't work. What can we do Monday at 10 or whatever? So another opportunity to set a phone call or a meeting. Um, one of the things that I did, and this had nothing to do with, uh, with, um, holidays or anything, but, I took macaroons to people, Mm -hmm. and I said, um, I know I've sent a few emails, but let's be honest, macaroons are way more fun than a follow-up email. And they just thought it was funny. I mean, you don't have to be, like, crazy creative. Yeah. You You can just be kind of honest. Like, I just thought I'd drop you these off, because you're probably sick of my emails. (laughs) So, (laughs) here's some macaroons. Have fun. Enjoy the, (laughs) the macaroons. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like that. But yeah, no, the holidays are a really, really good time to see because people are in a good mood. They're happy. For the most part. You have a reason that you're stopping by. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes sense. Correct. The other thing is going with the mindset that you're planting a seed. Mm-hmm. You're laying the groundwork. Yes. And don't expect anything. I mean, be hopeful of something. Like that, but don't expect it. Like, expect that I'm doing the work, so it's a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. Like, they will meet with me. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, for me, it's usually a little bit more of a longer turnaround time on the process. But mm-hmm. if I can lay the groundwork and get the stuff out and do the things, it always pays dividends when it comes to January, February, March. Yep, absolutely. So. So, yeah. NBD. Yeah. Another thing that you, that I, like, forget about and I don't think about is not just in terms of, like, sales, but in terms of, like, running a business, I think the holidays are a really important time to think about yeah. because 
you either are in one or one of two kinds of businesses. You're in a business that like, you know, slows down during the holidays because you're, you know, wrapping up from the whole year and you need to like take a time out and like reset and re, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of revamp everything. Or you're in like retail where you're like selling crap that people are going to buy. And so the holidays are another time too that you can really like take advantage of like, like, let's say you own, like, an Etsy shop, or let's say you sell, like, some sort of, like, handmade, like, whatever. I don't know, wine racks. I don't know. Whatever you do. You do you, girl. <laughs> but, like, that's a time for you to really sit down and think of, like, okay, over the past year, what has been my absolute number one seller? And if I want to really, like, v- ramp it up and make a lot of extra money, like, let's see how much money, like, I should put into, how many extra dollars I should put into marketing for... November and December or, you know, what are ways that I can ramp up my like paid, you know, sponsored ads here and there? Like what are some different like avenues that I can put my brand out there? Should I go and call like a local magazine or like a local like radio show? Like should I, you know, Mm -hmm. little small things because I'm assuming like if you run like a multi-billion dollar company, like you're probably not listening and getting advice from us. You probably know what you're doing, but like this is stuff to think about for people who are, like, yeah. just starting out in a business that, like, seems like a no-brainer, but a lot of times you just, you're so wrapped up in, like, everything else and trying to, like, just do stuff right that you don't think about different ways that you can really take advantage of the holiday season of, like, mm-hmm. making the absolute most money. Mm-hmm. Faux you. Faux you. Yeah. So, what's one of your favorite seeds you've ever seen or done? Ooh. Oh, man. That's a really good question. I think when I first... Oh, my gosh. I had a really cute one that I did with bourbon balls for Derby. Dang it. What did I say? It was adorable. (laughs) It was adorable. It was... I got, like, bourbon balls from Cellar Door, and I, like dropped off I dropped them off and I made like some sort of like soccer ball pun and like have a ball at the derby like I know that's a kind of a cop out because what's your favorite one you've ever seen and I'm like me the one that I did but (laughs) I did like that one a lot and I did get a couple calls because people love cellar door Mm -hmm. and so I don't remember what it said I'll remember it by the end of this episode But it was cute. Yeah. It's essentially, it was, like, bourbon balls on a little card. And it said, like, have a ball at the Derby, and then I'll be, have a ball and expect my call. Something like that. That's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. So. I've done a candy gram before. Yeah. That was fun. I did, um, for fall, oh my gourd, I can't believe it's already fall, with, like, little gourds. (laughs) Oh my gourd. (laughs) Oh my gourd, it's already fall. Y'all. You know, it'd be a really cute one that I just thought about huh. for fall. I don't know if this would be applicable this month. And you could just get some gourds and say, like, <laughs> I think our. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> well, he's losing her mind right now. <laughs> you could say, like, I think that if we. Or we should work together. I think we would be squad gourds. <laughs> Or, like, I love our that. relationship could be squad gourds. Hashtag squad gourds. Yeah. Something like that. Love it. I think that's a good idea. That's I, pretty cute. I think you should do that. I think that's really cute. Cool. What's another? I took a... I've taken some hams to people. And it's like, people are like, this is freaking weird. But then they love it. And you're like, you can't ignore a big ham in the room. Right. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> could say something like... That's pretty intense. Let's address the ham in the room. Yeah, an address. Let's address the. Uh, let's address the ham and because he's the elephant. Be like, well, let's address the ham in the room. Your uniforms suck. Just kidding. <laughs> I would never say that. I would, but not really. But not to their face. Not to like their face, unless we were right. cool. Totally. Yeah. Totally. But there's just a lot of things that you can do in the holidays, and people who are successful and really dive in deep and embrace Mm -hmm. the fun that you can have Mm -hmm. really this is your one time of year you can have a lot of fun Mm -hmm. and you can kind of get away with a low like not really producing because people understand but it's the people who complain about it that it's like 
Well, what are you doing? Yeah. You're not doing it. You're just complaining. Oh, for sure. Where for were sure. you today at 3, 8 p.m., Cheryl? <laughs> On your couch? Okay, well, no wonder no one was in their office. <laughs> you weren't even in your office. <gasps> well, yeah. Yeah. There's no. lots you can do. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things that you can do. And it's, it kind of gives you an excuse to, like, not be as serious. Because yes. it's like you're kind yes. of taking a mental break. Yes. Even though you're still working. You get to be creative, have Correct. fun. And you really get to stand out because you let some of your personality shine through. Oh, yeah. And Absolutely. people love that. They do. People, people buy you. Correct. They don't buy... Well, I mean, they do buy your product, but they like... They do, but you set it apart. Correct. Like, you set the meeting. They don't say, like, oh, wow, look at this polo shirt. I must have it. They're like, oh, wow, Chelsea's awesome to work with. Let's hear what she has to say. Yeah. Like, that's kind of... You're the gateway. I am the You're gateway. the gateway drug to oh, Okay, I was uniforms. about to say that. I was like, I'm like the weed. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm the CBD. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, and I think now is a really good time too. Like, if, especially if you call somebody and they say, "Call me back at the first of the year." Like, I'm so busy right now. That's a really good way to set up a meeting. Like, heck yeah. You know, I like sometimes I would just stop people and, and be like, "Oh my gosh, you're so right. I feel the same way. Do you want to go ahead and just like mark down like a date and time that we can either get together or set a call because." Yep. If we don't write it down, you know, I just feel like I'm going to forget. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm I know that I look like I have it together, but I only have it together because I have a planner. Correct. So okay. let's get a time and date down, which is a good segue. Yes. Because, like, what can they say? Like, no, I'm too busy to meet with yeah. you when I, I told you that you would call me, you should or, call you me know, again. this is a little tip that works. I don't think it's shady. Maybe you can tell me it's shady. I don't know. But a lot of times people forget that when they tell you to follow up with them, so... I'll call people, like, certain size accounts, call them every six months. I'm like, hey, I spoke with you in June, and you told me to give you a call in six months. And they're like, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't freaking remember. I think after six months, that's fine to do that. Like. Because, like, if anything, like, they can be like, did we? And exactly. You could be like, oh. like, I don't want to be rude if I told you. Right. And if you didn't, you can, you're like, oh, sorry, like, I've really... It was six months ago. I really thought you told me that. Well, I've done it quite a few times. I'm like, hey, because it's true. I followed up with them then, and they said, follow with me later. Okay. Right. You just said later. And so, then I'm like, hey, I talked to you here, here, and, you know, I said, follow up with you around this time of the year. What's your schedule like? And that usually goes pretty well, too. Mm-hmm. But you can Ooh. just use little things like that. What's your schedule like is a really good question. Yeah. Because it's like... It's not a yes or a no. Correct. It's like a open end, open it ended is. question. It is, which is, ugh. Yeah. Those are so good. So good. Because it's we're just as people, we're designed to say no to everything. <laughs> so if you ask a close ended question that requires a yes or no answer, you're probably gonna get no. Correct. Mm -hmm. You absolutely are. I say no all the time, even though I want to do things sometimes. It's like, do I want to go out and get dinner with my friends tonight? Yes. But do I also want to sit on my couch and watch um, Queer Eye and drink wine? Yeah. Yes. So like sometimes we, more. yeah, sometimes we say no to things that even though we really want. So sometimes we need people to be like, hey, what day of the week is best for you? Yeah. Because then you're like, oh, Tuesday. <laughs> Instead of like, no, <laughs> yeah, that's not a day of the week answer my question <laughs> yes yeah so don't let the holidays get you down if you're feeling like you're in a funk mm -hmm. in a rut can't get anywhere well go get yourself some cookies and take them to people do it or go get yourself something just silly a little bird told me you guys need to save money you guys want to save money a little bird told me that i should stop by today because that's a really good one. It's cute. That's adorable. And they're little, little, they're from Target. They're $3. They have these little Christmas birdies, and they're adorable. I do like those a lot. Yeah. There's some fun ones. Mm hmm And Easter comes along, I like to get the peeps and say, just want to take a peep at your program. <laughs> I love that. I know. That's so a really cute. good one. So cute. Have you ever accidentally done the same thing to... I haven't. Okay, good. Thank heavens. Yeah. Well, I think now that I have been giving you so many great ideas with, yeah. like, squad gourds and stuff, yeah. I think that you 
Hashtag squad chords. I actually stole that from one of my other favorite podcasts, My Favorite Murder. They have a joke about squad gourds. It's like an ongoing thing. And I so badly want to use it in real life. And I've not been able to until right now in this moment. So it really, like, I was really stoked that I got to use it in real life. I love it. That's so, yeah. great. That's yeah. great. Well, yeah. that's pretty much what we want to talk to you guys about. Because the holiday blues is real. It's mm-hmm. a thing that happens. And really, this is the time that you get to be super creative. Mm-hmm. Be yourself. Take the edge off. And make an impression. Correct. You can do some holiday, as we call it in orange theory, ruster size. It's oh. when you're taking a break, but you're actually doing like a plank or something. Oh, that's horrible. They do that a lot. And I think that in my mind, that's kind of what the holidays are, especially in sales. Like you're kind of doing like ruster size because you're like yeah. more relaxed and more open and fun, but you're still getting work done. Yeah. And people are like, oh, that's because if you show up with like a little present... They're going to let you in. Yeah. Like, I will like, tell you hello. right now, they will let you in. Yeah, they will. And they're like, oh, that's so cute. Who's that for? Not for you. Just like, kidding. Like, maybe you. Well, you hung up on me, like, three times, so not you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So maybe you don't say that, but... But don't say that, but you could think it and, and be tell like, us about it. Yeah, for sure. But you just say you're there for And here's another thing. When you're doing seating, it's okay to, like, leave the seat and then follow up. Mm -hmm. But if they're like, if you go in, I'll take it in and I'll have my little seed and I'll say, hey, is so-and-so here? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, awesome. Would you please give this to him or her? And I appreciate it. And that's it. Or if they're there and they come out, then Then you say, hey, I got this for you. There's a little note in there, but I'll basically just tell you I'm with so-and-so and and I want to have a meeting with you. Or what's your schedule like next week? I'm usually like, they're like, oh, this was really nice. And... People are a lot nicer in person than they are with the phone, and they'll probably mm-hmm. meet with you. Oh, yeah. 90% of the time, they're going to meet with you. For sure. I would say 90%. Or if they don't, like, they most likely will give you an extremely valid reason. Mm-hmm. Like, I, whenever I was doing, like, the little basketball drop-offs, I met a guy, and we talked, like, for maybe, like, 10 straight minutes. He was the mm-hmm. owner of, like, a really big furniture store here, and he was like, oh, my gosh, like, this was so cool. He was like, great. He was like, we literally, like four months ago just signed like a three-year contract with somebody like he was like so I cannot meet with you he was like but this is really awesome. cute and I appreciate you stopping by so it's like Aww. if you have any potential you are more likely to get a meeting if you go in person and bring a gift yeah so because if like there isn't potential then it's like you know no harm done now you know that now you know now you know and you will never get a gift from me again sir <laughs> and you'll know kidding. where to be in three years correct Girl. That's, Absolutely. like, the best thing is, like, you just follow up every six months. They know who you are. You mm-hmm. build a relationship. And mm-hmm. then you're there. And you're ready to play ball where the game is being played. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boom. So. Boom. Drop that knowledge on them. Yeah. So. I love it. Feel cool. free to send us any good ideas you have because we are not above a good idea. None of us. Nobody. Mostly Chelsea, though, because she's really the only one in, like, real sales right now. Yeah. Your ideas might it. not work for me personally in my sales, but I love ideas too. So you can send them my way in like three months. Yeah. Just call me in January. I'll be less busy then. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Me too. Let's yeah. get together. Okay, bye. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Are you, do you want to wrap up? Do you want well, me to I wrap was going to say like happy holidays <laughs> to y'all and we're going to miss you oh, and we're so well. excited to come back and yeah. we're going to have a new name. Yep. We're going to have a new name. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a new branding logo. Mm-hmm. We're going to have all the things. Same us. Oh, yeah. Some great guests. We're going to be talking about investments. We're going to be talking about running your own, bra- building your own brand, mm-hmm. sales tips from the best yeah. of the best. Absolutely. We will still be talking about sales. Yes. So we're lots not, of sales. We're not throwing away sales at all. At all. We're not just going to all of a sudden come back as a, you know, flower potting podcast. It's going to be in the same realm. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, actually, maybe we should just drink. (laughs) Yeah. But it's going to be great. It's going to be the same thing. We're talking about business. We're talking about sales. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about basically what we do now. Right. We're just going to make our name and our branding a little more appropriate with kind of the path that we're already on. Yep. So we're really excited. Um, 
yeah, everyone have a wonderful holiday season. Yes. And oh my gosh, we will see you in 2020. How yes, weird. Yes, I know. Um, make sure to stay in touch with us on Instagram, on Facebook. If you know us, you can like text us too. Like we won't <laughs> give our number out, but like, you know, we like friends. We like hanging out with people. So. <laughs> we love you and we appreciate you listening. Um, make sure to write us a review give us a rating follow us on instagram and y'all we will see you back with a whole new look in 2020 mm-hmm. Woo-hoo. bye